Steve here with an update on that Saharan dust plume coming our way. Okay, first thing you got to know, this thing's a mile or more above the ground. This is not like the movie The Mummy with a big wall of uh, sand and dust coming our way. It's not like that. It is up in the air. It can float down to the surface and create air quality issues. Pretty uncertain that that's going to be the issue for us. But let me show you where it is right now. It's starting to make its way onto the southern U.S. coast. So parts of Texas, Louisiana, Florida. That's the plume right there. And that deeper red is where we have the higher concentration of dust and thus the bigger impacts. That's not going to hit us in St. Louis, but the areas in the southern U.S., that's going to be the bigger impact. This is Friday at 10 o'clock, so much of Friday is just fine. But as we get into Saturday, you start to see some of that dust plume get our way. And then as we head into Sunday, we probably still have some dust in the air. Again, higher concentrations to the south. That's where they'll have bigger issues, more noticeable hazy skies. And any dust kind of thins out as we head into Monday. It really shouldn't be an issue. So what are those impacts? Well, hazy skies, although storms to the south and storms in our area can actually uh, clear some of that dust out of the air. So if we have storms, and we do have scattered storms in the forecast Saturday and Sunday, they could that rain could take some of the dust out of the air. So that's something to keep an eye on. And if the clouds can break, colorful sunsets and sunrises usually occur when you have this kind of dust in the air, more vivid and bright oranges and reds. Again, we're still very uncertain on if air quality will be affected for sensitive groups, uh, those with respiratory issues, asthma. I just want to take note and monitor at this point. Uh, unsure if the concentration of the dust over our area will be a big enough issue because it can float down to the surface and create air quality issues, but that may not happen if we just don't have enough dust and, of course, if we have storms kind of cleaning the air. So a lot of variables, a lot of factors, but kind of cool to think that dust from northern Africa is going to travel 6,000 miles and be up in the air above St. Louis this weekend.